Hello friends! Today we are on day number 30 of our 1001 tarot spreads. We are again using the Chromatic Fates tarot deck, which is my newest deck and I'm very excited to be using this week. This week's question is, how can I improve my finances? It's a three card reading and we're going to get right into it. So for this reading, it is recommended to use the 40 minor arcana. So that's going to be ace through 10 of the four suits of swords, cups, wands, and chalice. I already said cups. Pentacles. I already said that too. Swords, cups, coins, wands. There we go. Keep using synonyms, but I got it. <laughs> okay, card number one is what is the biggest drain on your money right now? Card number two is what is your most lucrative financial asset or financial opportunity? And three is how can I balance my finances? So we're going to get right into it with card number one, which is... Can't read Roman numerals upside down. The Seven of Cups reversed. Then we have for our second card, the Three of Swords upright. And then the Five of Coins reversed. So again, each card in this deck was drawn, illustrated, painted by a different artist. In this case, for the Seven of Cups, it was by Margarita Borkova. So here's our first card. It is reversed. Dealing with the Seven of Cups being the most difficult or what is the biggest money drain. The Seven of Cups representing the what's damaging your finances actually fits really really well because seven of cups is choices being reversed it's not just choices it is the temptations you are choosing to spend money on things that are not necessary at this time card number two which is what is your greatest financial asset right now is the three of swords which was drawn by Jennifer Charlie. And again, I will be putting links to the project that created this deck and all of these artists in the description. So your greatest asset in your financial burden right now of improving your finances is making those painful decisions. Only buy what is necessary. Cancel those extra subscriptions. If you can do without it, do without it. This is painful. But in the long run, it will be better for you. And then how will things be balanced? We have the five of coins reversed. Which, even though it did not show up in our last reading, um, I did show it last time because I actually bought this deck from this artist, uh, Laura Garvedian. And I'm probably butchering her last name again because I never heard her pronounce it. Because who uses someone's last name when you are talking face to face with them? She's Laura to me. So, um, Laura, sorry again. <laughs> so the Five of Coins being how you're getting your way back out of financial problems to improve your finances is also a shockingly good fit because it is about plenty is available if you choose to look for it. The It will be difficult though, but you can do it. There, there is options or there are options. Wow, conjugation. Can you believe it? English is my first language. <laughs> wow. 
Long story short, card one is saying, don't use money on the things you don't need. Card number two is saying, this is going to be hard, but you can do it. Make the difficult choice because in the long run, it will be better for you. And card number five is saying, be balanced in your approach. Don't get lost in the weeds. Focus on the big picture. Have I improved over last month? Mistakes will happen. That's part of life. But if you get so caught up on each individual mistake that you can't see the progress over time, you're just going to be hurting yourself. So as is kind of typical in these readings that are mass readings, the answer is very moderate, very balanced. That being said, we have reached the end of reading number 30 of our 1001 Tarot readings. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, and if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe to see more content like this. I also plan on getting into more storytelling aspects on this channel because after the feedback I got from my panel at Denver over the weekend, a lot of people were like, we like your storytelling style. Please, please give us stories. So I'm like, okay, I can make that happen. So I'm going to be starting to add some videos of modern retellings of myth because that sounds like fun to me. So if that appeals to you, go ahead and subscribe and hopefully we will see you again. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.